got them uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they are they are nice actually, very nice. Uh, heads up, about to kick out. Let's see. Oh yeah, looks good on you. Feels good too. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. He's a concrete camper. Who loves concrete pads, manicured lawns, and beautiful views. And I'm the concrete glamper. I love campsite decor, and more is more. On the weekends, we've moved from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand, and sea in our RVs. of the year where the 2024 models are starting to hit the local lots and so today we are taking a look at the 2024 3100z brinkley we've heard a lot of chatter online and seen numerous videos and so when we saw one on a local lot we just had to come in and take a look so first impressions it's uh it's Pretty nice uh, as far as the feel of it is very modern and residential. When you come in, it looks like they've done kind of a faux uh, leather, kind of Western theme. <laughs> it looks like what's going on, but you got a bench. I don't know, so there's no uh, no cushion, but it's it's a solid surface there. Solid table. Um, looks like it also comes with these standalone chairs, which have that faux leather. They actually feel pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice here. Um, then you've got theater seating. Apparently, it looks like you've got some uh, storage here in the middle. And what I like is this wireless um, charger for your cell phones. How yeah. comfy are the seats? Pretty dog uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> they are they are nice actually. Very nice. Uh, heads up, about to kick out. Let's see. Oh yeah. Looks good on you. Feels good too. <laughs> I like it. I like the uh, the setup, the leather. It's a minimalist look and feel. You got overhead storage, of course. And what they did, it looks like they did uh, soft clothes on this. Wow. That's pretty cool with the magnets. So I've seen a lot about how this is uh, Brinkley's first uh, entry into a fifth wheel model and a luxury model at that. And First impressions, it does not disappoint. Um, I like just even on the showroom floor, you know, decor is my thing. Um, but I really do like uh, the fixtures and the couch. It definitely has like what you said, more of this like, residential feel of luxury um, in our RV and it definitely stands out. So I can see why on first blush, uh, people have a lot of positive things to say. Uh, something else that I noticed that, when have you seen a crown molding detail in another RV. I think that is just really sharp. Of course, you have um, sort of that scissor window that we have. Oh, wow. I think the blind feature oh, is really cool. nice yeah. where your blinds automatically open up when you pull up and you have it screen, and then when you push down, you have that dark um, feature there. And then the fixtures um, are of this what black metallic yeah. uh, finish on it. Yeah. So that's super cute. Is that is that actually glass? No, it's plastic. plastic. It's okay. Plastic. Okay. They're Just after, checking. They're after my heart. <laughs> glass is not your friend in an RV. And then just look at the storage, but not just the storage, the depth of the storage. I mean, look at that. You can get some serious things in there. It's not just this faux storage. Some additional thoughts from a decorating perspective. Really love this table that there's a lot of surface space there for you to put some centerpieces down and have four plates there. Uh, the countertop, if at some point you wanted to do some chairs on the side or from prep work, um, if you know how folks love to do reefs. I mean, this surface is perfect um, for you to put some things on. Uh, to put some um, a wreath or anything hanging there. There's also this headroom space that's also plenty of opportunities if you wanted to add an additional decorative touch. 
um, there. And then um, the side tables, there's also an opportunity above and below. Um, if it were me, I would put down a cute little area rug uh, just to make this space a little bit more homier. You could definitely do that in this model, winter and summer, because there are no floor vents. Sometimes in RVs or floor vents, and it doesn't provide you with that opportunity. This color is great. Uh, they call this their Coastal Carolina um, color uh, and packet. And so it just really is a very neutral color that you can do a lot with from a decorating perspective. And then again, more opportunities to decorate or even hide some storage. Uh, look up there. Uh, the cabinets don't go quite up to the ceiling. So there's another opportunity, especially if you're full time. You have the, the TV that has the ability to move up and down. And so you still have this space when you're not using the television, that's just really nice. And then you have some more storage where you can put some knickknacks there, but I still think it's a great detail. I really like the, the width of the fireplace. I think that's a really nice touch. And then the lighting, I like all of the lights. There's nothing more when I'm RVing to be blocked from the outside elements or to be blocked for the sunlight. I know it's not always your friend, but I really enjoy when I'm RVing to have the sunlight come in. And so it looks really sharp from the outside, but the inside, look at this, kind of spin around. Did you notice all of the windows? Again, this, this sort of, this molding detail, we just take a spin. You've got full windows here, bank of windows here, and then if you flip around and you come into the kitchen, even when you're cooking, you have a window. And so I really, really, really um, like that. Um, you know, I'm sure there are some features from the microwaves and things of that nature. Uh, this stove looks really, really sharp. I think that is a really nice profile. I really love uh, the design and the edges on here. Um, some cute things that are happening in, in the drawers, like small touches. I would say what's caught my eye, not knowing a lot about this brand, is that it's the small details that are making the difference for me that are really catching my eye. I think from the sink standpoint, you have that deep, look at that. Sort of that farmhouse sink, but it's in that dark color, so there's an alignment in terms of the colors. I mean, this, this, this is nice, though. Yep, and, uh-oh, if you break it, you gotta buy it. <laughs> With pleasure. <laughs> um, and then more cabinets, but again, it's not some of these more shallow cabinets that you tend to see. It really is a deep cabinet, so that's really attractive. And the heart row is nice. Uh, the refrigerator is the residential style, side by side. We would never fill all of this up, but again, if you're full-time, I could see how this is a lot um, of space. But there's no freeze. Is yeah, that a freezer? Side by okay, side, side so by side freezer. freezer. Uh, this is your uh, refrigerator on the right side. So it's a side by side. Oh, what a cute attempt at some ice cubes. But hey, they would make a really delicious drink with those cute little adorable ice trays. And what do you got on the right here? And so then this is opening up and look how- Wow, look at the lighting the light. option that pops on again. What is that? One, two, three, four really nice big shelves. Stretch, really nice shelves. They are adjustable. So that's a nice that's, rack system. Yes, Look at that. I think that's super great. And then let me show you this again. It's the small touches. Look here. They haven't forgot about your pets. <laughs> so it's like and it slides out. And it's li it's lit, right? It's undermount yeah, it's, lit. It's, there's undermount lighting um, across cool. the, um, all of the bar. Um, so that's really nice. So here, more storage, but I like how we have the downward lights to really put things on display. I mean, take a peek at this bathroom. How gorgeous is that? Oh, wow. Good look goodness. at those fixtures, look at the shower with the dual head. Look at the lighting as well. Even like the uh, the um, what is in the, the texture the, the here. The texture detail. Yeah, that feels really nice. Another real cabinet that's deep. Oh wow, that is pretty deep. That you can get some nice. What is this storage about? options? 
It looks like you got some nice bronze towel uh, hangers there, which is cool. Now, I will say one little nit, as cute as everything is, I do find the sink seems... Shallow, shallow mm. and small mm -hmm. just because all the other details seem to be so great and unique this just seems a little small to me in terms of scale but nothing significant um i do like how they have actual uh shelves underneath and they give you some storage um and they give you a, a little bit more space but if i had to have one little knit so far of anything it's the actual uh, bathroom sink and countertop. Hi. And so then let's head into the bedroom because I think this is gorgeous as well. Take a look at this bed. Oh, wow. Like, I just like that how is... streamlined. Look at that headboard. Right, that's I... definitely a king size, if not plus. I don't know if they make a California king, but that's that a is... huge bed in here. Yes. And I'll just, again, look at the crown molding, look at the details, look at um, the slight sconces. Um, I'm never a fan, this is just a personal thing, I'm never a fan of these little shelves, but hey, that's just a small thing. But again, touches. Well, it's nice to have, if you, if you want to put your books up or something like that, because you know why? You don't have, you don't have side... Tables. tables so uh, they got to go, go up with it yeah so. so that's a good sacrifice for more bedding versus the side tables and you you lessen the risk of knocking over your water that you bought the bed at night well that's true i will give you that so you have the television this is really nice but again just look at the the details does that have a magnet to keep the door open it does i saw you you have a it's a little touch but oh, just wow. enough to the tracks that's cool all right that was thinking outside the box i've never seen that but uh, then, i've seen everything but and then look how they have these windows blind <laughs> wow Super that's a different touch. way of doing that yeah instead of lifting up or down or pulling on it it's a nice yes and then uh, washer and dryer hookups for those who that's a necessity so that's really nice. And if you don't have the washer and dryer, there's a hanger up top for any type of clothing or whatever uh, that you may want to put in there. And then underneath as well, um, you would imagine this is the secondary piece of those washer and dryer hookups. The hookups. Yeah. What I will say though, what is cool is so at least you got electric um, in this cabinet. You know what I mean? So even if you wanted to use it, I don't know, charge for a laptop or, a or if you, laptop. Yeah, you want to get creative and pull it out and just kind of work in here real quick. Yeah. I mean, it's that's a nice a, option. That's a definitely a great option. Like if you are working from the road and you may not have a dedicated obvious office space, mm -hmm. you could definitely get your laptop in here. Just get some type of a, a higher seat or you just may, you know, want to stand up. But All I right. think that's definitely a good option. And then, hey. All right. Office is closed. We know we want to move on to the closet. Details. Love it. So it looks like the actual rack has a light on it. It does to give you some additional lighting. Now that for, is cool. I mean, I will admit I have seen in some RVs larger closets, but this is really nice. And then they have the cubbies for some shoes. So I think that is nice. This is something that we definitely would have any challenges with sharing. Um, and then you could put, you know, not a lot of space up here, but it's enough. I think it's it's more than ample amount of space. Yeah. Um, and in which you give away in the bedroom in terms of maybe some obvious space, this well, bed and making it so comfortable. One other thing I do like that they did in here was the, the lighting. So they got the recess lighting. The recess lighting, yes. Right, so no more push button lighting um, or the plastic covers. That is, I'm sure that's LED. I can't guarantee it, but I wouldn't be, would be surprised if it wasn't. Then you got a couple USB ports, looks like in the corners here mm -hmm. for when you're charging your phones up, at least it's up where your shelving is, which makes sense. And so, then they carry this crown molding type of touch all the way down um, below so they didn't skimp on that. Nice. 
Nice tension to detail. Yeah. Just tension to detail. Oh, whoa. And then, boom, which you don't wow. have in the closet. Here's some em. more storage. And what I love about this underbed storage is it does not connect to outside storage. And so for me, I really, really like that. So you don't have to worry about having to share that with maybe an outside compartment. I like how it's just all internal and only accessible from the inside. Well, and also the depth that is provided in this. It's This is at least uh, probably a foot uh, deep, if not a little bit more. Like, um, guys, this is the storage that you get the basement essentially <laughs> this is a lot of storage that you get with this Franklin. it's pretty impressive did you um, see the drawers back there oh no i didn't even notice that oh wow uh, well that's yeah that's some hidden i guess all your plumbing is kind of hidden that's pretty cool good, good eye we got good eye that's cool that's nicely done um it's so all plastic here, so it looks like it's pretty easy to rinse out, wash out. So that's uh, that's interesting. LED lighting, as you can see here, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, and you got you got a little shower here. You got your outside uh, wash area, I guess, just to wash this out. Um, we'll head around front, and this is just your butane tanks here, which is uh, pretty nice and convenient. Nice. Um, you got some more storage up front here for additional areas. Click your inverter and all your accessories. Uh, pretty nice storage space. Um, I guess they got slam latches up here. And then take a look at the, the front of this cab. Oh, wow. I mean, the lighting that they did around here is pretty cool. Looks like the Brinkley lights up at night. Um, we, may, we had a better angle, but it's pretty impressive if you're standing up on it. And one thing I appreciate it, at least at my height, look at this. I don't have to worry about bumping my head. <laughs> I can walk underneath the slide. Um, it's got a couple LED lights here, I guess, if you're at night. Um, these doors are reasonably thick. Oh, this is a split door. Look at that. 75 with a 70 30 split. So you don't have to open up the whole thing just to get to your wet bag area. That's pretty cool. It's electric leveling is right there. Yeah, you do your leveling. It's like your hot water heaters here. Uh, here's your power. That's interesting. They went from a 50 to a 30. No, just the location of it. Right, but this is 50 to a 30, right? Correct, it's a dog bone, but it's a, it's a, it's a 50 amp, but I'm just saying the location of it. Think about oh. when you pull in to a campsite. Ours is in the back, mm. right? So if your post is back there, it's kind of almost in, almost in the middle of where it is. So I guess you're pretty good where you go. But so is that a, from your perspective, bonus or negative? Um... I'm not sure actually i'm not i'm not really sure i mean you just got to go halfway either way you know but you probably would have to carry an extension um just in case and so for someone who's not familiar of what a dog bone is what is that exactly this right here and this right here so it's just a way to convert um 30 to a 50 or 50 to a 30. these are just called dog bones it's an adapter so it just helps you out. Um, now what I don't see is I don't see any um, covers over the slides. Oh yeah, yeah, you don't see that. And um, that may have to be an extra install. What they do, let's give you a theory on backup camera. Looks like that comes custom, and then here's more storage in the back, which is pretty nice. You got your, your ladder for access to the roof. And then you have, looks like two separate awnings that come out, at least for this side. 
Ah, okay. And then you've got another awning on this side, which covers, so that's nice. Um, you do have a, just questionable about this whole setup. Uh, I'm sure it looks like it's maybe collapsible and you have to do some things, but I don't know. <laughs> I did want to call out, check out those wheels, man. Those are gorgeous. They're gorgeous, but that's going to take a lot to clean those spokes. They're still beautiful. That's why you got to maintain your rig, but wrapped in Coopers, wow, those are nice. All right, so that's it. Like I said, we saw the Brinkley here locally. We just had to take a look. Let us know what you think. Comment below of some of the features that stand out to you. We would love to hear uh, your feedback. Yeah, especially if you're thinking about getting a fifth wheel. Uh, this is one to maybe look at, given the price and all the amenities that come with it. Uh, it's nice. So with that, um, I hope you enjoyed our tour and coming along with us today. And until next time, we'll continue to chase the sun, sand, and sea. In our RV.